What's up everybody? Well today I am here to bring you another vacuum that is in the video series that I call Franken Hoover where I take and rebuild and reconstruct different Hoover elites to make one working one that is more so to test my creativity, have a little fun, and also make a little bit more content on this channel. So what I have for your viewing pleasure today is a example of what could have been a factory rebuilt Hoover Elite 350. What inspired me to make this is this is mostly done by a vacuum collector friend of mine that's in the collectors group on Facebook and he actually custom built one of his Hoover Elite 350s so I figured I thought I would replicate that but only make my touch on one so this is just my depiction of his customization and this basically just made it look like an example of a factory rebuilt Hoover Elite 350 almost with a couple of modern touches here and there, which I will go ahead and go through in later in the video. So let's go ahead and take a walkthrough of the cleaner. So this is basically a little bit more modernized Hoover Elite 350. But one thing you will notice that is a bit different about this is that this has a handle mounted power switch. Normally, the Elite 350s would come with a side-mounted power switch mounted down there. I thought I would go ahead and do this, mostly to give it more modern convenience. Also, it's kind of to symbolize the last of the Hoover Elites, particularly the commercial models. Before the Elite lineup was discontinued altogether, they included handle-mounted power switches. So that's, that's one thing to note. And also another upgrade I did is the base is from a later model Hoover Legacy. So it comes with one, a very long 34 foot power cord. And also it does have this little, this bellow that runs up the back of the vacuum. And this is mostly for sound deadening. Mostly because the soft bag elites have a tendency to make a lot of airflow noise. And this was made by Hoover for the high-end legacy models to have sound deadening and so there not be as much airflow noise. But as you can see, the work I did, and I have done this to keep the slide top bag theme of the of the vacuum i took a bag spring from a model with a slide top bag and i transferred the spring and setup over to this legacy base and it works just as it should there's your top fill lettering on the front of the bag there to get access into these guys you just simply just pull the spring down and this slides forward and you can slide the top of the outer bag off on either side to get access to your inner bag like so. And this is running as per usual, a type A bag. I like to run HEPA bags for increased filtration and they filter out just much better than the genuine paper bags do and are just overall much better in my opinion. So, put this back on you just slide it either left or right to get it back on pull the spring down and just seat it back in and you're good to go so moving down here this does have just a two position carpet height adjustment well at least hoover claims it's only two position but technically there's a third position and that's right between the low and the high setting that's essentially the medium pile car the medium carpet height setting, which I always leave on for the pile of this carpet. 
you have right here your Hoover lettering Elite 350 on the top of the headlight there with the Hoover symbol right up there. They are a little bit faded from the plastic polish, but not a major deal. It has edge cleaning on both sides. And you also do have lettering that says two level automatic height adjustment and the third one as well. Now let's go ahead and tip this back to show you the underside. Here is the brush roll. It is the original style red bristle single row brush roll with medium stiff bristles. They are not the stiffest of bristles, but they do work very well. And even though it has a one row of bristles in this center, this blank section right here can potentially act as a beater bar on certain piles of carpet. This actually still does have decent agitation for being a single row. It's actually pretty good. And let's go ahead and show you the model number donor on the back. This is Hoover Cleaner, model U4459, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 5 amps, at least the original motor that would draw 5 amps. More on that later. The belt is 38528-027, the bag type is A. The serial number on this to decode the serial date if any of you that are interested in doing that to decode the actual year the vacuum was made first two digits will decode the month of manufacture third and fourth will decode the year so this was manufactured in 09 of 89 or september of 1989 for the hoover company of north canton ohio for household use only made in the usa that is one thing to love about these old Hoovers, is that they are American made. And back here, you you will notice the motor that, it, that this has. The housing obviously is changed out because the motor is actually from a later model Elite. And that is one thing that's definitely gonna change the performance of this because this motor, instead of drawing five amps, draws somewhere around seven amps. And it has not only improved performance, but the fan was also upgraded from the standard seven blade fan or nine blade that this originally would have came with to a 20 blade. So performance is definitely gonna increase with that. And so with that said, let's go ahead and give you a little demo of this thing running. So let's go ahead and release the cord, which is very long. And I like to run my hand down here so to avoid getting any like tangles in the cord. It's kind of my way of doing things. So there's nothing worse than when you get to the end of the cord and what you think is the end turns out to be a be a tangle to the point that it shortens the cord. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And we'll go ahead and turn this thing on and give you a little demo of it running. Now, typical Elite fashion, this thing is pretty loud when it's running. So headphone users, I would advise turning down your volume for this portion of the video. So here we go.
before we end the video, let's go and attempt to demonstrate this in tool mode. I say attempt to because lately I've been having issues connecting this thing to some of my other elites. But let's see if I can successfully do it with this. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, don't expect miracle suction out of this because these are known to produce more airflow than suction. Unfortunately, it has very bad suction leakage because it's not very well sealed. You guys kind of get the idea i don't want to like uh make your eardrums bleed with that super loud whistling noise but that's just how these things got tools back then not really the best design but it's pretty much it is what it is but one thing i do like about it is that they have these twist connectors similar to what the canisters would use of the time. So here's your extension wand. You have the original upholstery tool, but then I also pulled off two more tools that were actually from other Hoover canisters that, interestingly enough, they will fit these hoses because they use the same twist lock connections. So that's very nice. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video on a the custom factory rebuilt styled Hoover Elite 350. Be sure and stay tuned. And don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.